So the Triumph Best of British Tour that's been doing the rounds in North America eventually made its way to Atlanta in January. And I went along to have a, a look-see at all the new bikes, really. I was particularly interested in the new Rocket 3, which my friend Eric has uh, just purchased in T. FC Triumph Factory Custom form and I really wanted to see the difference ergonomics wise between the GT and the R particularly and also the colours that they come in uh, with the GT coming in silver and the R coming in red and black. One of the limited edition bikes which was unveiled there was the Triumph Bobber And that particular machine was uh, very nice looking. It has an arrow exhaust system fitted to it. has a beautiful paint scheme with uh, a Union flag on the tank. And lots of carbon bits and the usual uh, solo seat. Uh, and in this instance, it's uh, brown. And it also has the clip-on handlebars, which in theory I didn't think would work. But actually makes it look pretty nice in a kind of calf racer, bobber kind of style. I also got to check out the new Rocket 3 in GT guys. The kind of silvery grey with uh, black and uh, the red stripe colour scheme actually looked very nice in the flesh and the higher bars felt nice and the forward controls felt nice as well for laid back cruising two up keeping to the speed limits and just generally kicking back and enjoying life the gt is a, a very good option i think both the gt and the r featured the trademark triumph twin headlights and they were pretty bright actually the gt has a taller clearer screen and the roadster the shorter sportier screen that matches the standard paintwork and for those that want to push your muscle cruiser that little bit harder try and offer the r version which i think is a, a better choice for those that want to kind of push their bike through the twisties and run it that little bit hotter it features the mid control uh, foot pegs and the kind of flatter more drag style handlebars and that kind of pushes you that little bit further forward, which feels less comfortable in the showroom. But once the pressure of the wind builds up when you're actually riding, if you're opening up that throttle, it does help keep you in position better and also helps you counter steer better. So overall, the bike still steers better. So if you prefer a sportier ride and perhaps more of a solo ride, the R is definitely the one for you. And it certainly looks good in this kind of hot rod red. It's actually colour called Corossi or Corosi, Corosi I should say K-O-R-O-S-I and uh, Corossi however you want to pronounce it or Corosi uh, it looked uh, pretty pretty neat I must admit I really love this colour in fact it's my favourite Triumph colour that they've made in recent years the stoplight is super super bright as this picture uh, is an uh, affirmation of and uh, it looks really really nice with that big fat 240 section rear tyre sticking out the back there. I love the view from sitting on the bike, it gives the, uh, the tank a real heart shape, it's a 5 gallon tank. It's a thirsty old bike, but you expect that with an engine twice as big as a 1250 GSA for instance. But um, it's got five gallons of standard and it's a beautiful shaped tank that nestles between your knees, looks like a big love heart in front of you and has, uh, uh, it is a seamless design so there's no horrible stamping print underneath the tank. Uh, it just runs round very smoothly and looks very custom as do the internally wired um, wiring for the the handlebars the clocks are nice and you can toggle between two uh, two primary uh, schemes one is uh, a kind of traditional it's still led uh, or tft but it's still uh, kind of classic looking and the other one is much more modern with bigger numbers that are, are easier on the eyes and then it has the uh, the brushed uh, strip up the the middle of the tank and the uh, the brushed um, 
the monster style filler cap which actually has a locking cap underneath that you can uh, choose to lock it or not the big monoblock radial stylema brakes look stunning as do the hydroformed uh, exhaust system and at the top of the uh, the downpipes uh, you can see the tolerances into the head are super fine this is a really well built high quality motorcycle for this year I fell in love with this color, Karasi uh, Red. It's uh, it's very, very almost crimson in uh, dark light. Uh, yet when the light shines on it, it pops a nice cherry red. So it kind of looks great, and um, it splits up the color scheme a bit, a bit with the the black and silver, of course. So you'll see um, that from the photographs, I mainly took pictures of the new Triumph Rocket 3. It is the biggest, baddest bike for 2020. It is uh, Triumph's flagship uh, motorcycle. It's a Halo product. And uh, I think uh, every dealer I've spoken to or friend I've spoken to, spoken to a dealer about it, they're all sold out. Eric spoke to a dealer in uh, Florida who uh, is only getting 11 for the year and they're already pre-sold. So this bike is uh, is a surprise for many, but um, it's going to sell in, in decent numbers here in uh, North America. It's taken it to uh, the likes of Harley-Davidson uh, pretty pretty well. Uh, it will be featured against the Diavel, no doubt, the 12, 1260 uh, Diavel and also the Harley Fat Bob probably and possibly the Fat Boy in terms of uh, looks if you compare it with the Fat Boy um, two-tone color then price wise we're only looking $150 difference so there's nothing there um, but the Rocket is 30 pounds lighter it produces 76 horsepower more and it produces 44 torques more or pound per feet of torque more and uh, that's a, a, a good uh, good shift in numbers in the right direction for those interested in uh, foregoing the, the Harley brand and trying out the, the Triumph. So I mainly took pictures of the Rocket 3, sorry about that, uh, apologies, that's just a bike I'm, I'm very interested in myself personally this year. I can also say that they also had um, the uh, the Daytona Moto, Moto 2 GP bike which looks stunning, they had the new Thruxton um, RS which is, uh, is, is cool looking, they also had the Street... Um, street triple rs which looks very similar to last year uh, but now produces uh, a bit more power throughout the rev range and that's a great bike for the twisties they also had the two new tiger 900s and i have to say i was very impressed with those this year they've got the tft screens and uh, they've got cornering abs cornering traction control you know heated seats heated grips everything the big bikes has basically except uh, no weight penalty prices are on the increase with those kind of bikes you know whether you're looking at the 790 adventure from ktm or you know the new uh, africa 2100 the bikes uh, in the kind of 8 to 1100 category are now getting as expensive as those in the 12 1300 category but they do feature similar equipment and they are much lighter and a lot more fun and they, they're still a little bit cheaper obviously price point wise uh, i was very impressed with the new tigers i think for the dirt for 2020 if you want to ride off-road mainly um, and you want a bike of that kind of size and capacity you're not going to beat the 790 adventure from ktm but if you want a, an all-rounder for the road um, i would say the triumph uh, an occasional off-road use i would say the triumph rally is your best bet it's not going to crash as well as the ktm but the suspension on it feels extremely good quality very high quality it's beautifully built um, and i know from riding the 800 which was a peach that triumph know how to make bikes uh, fuel correctly brake and steer and stop correctly so i think that'd be a very good choice for those interested in uh, that market and once again apologies that i didn't get uh, any photos i was unnecessarily excited at the uh, the site of uh, the rocket threes anyway that was my little preview of the best of british from triumph well i hope you enjoyed this video 
I really appreciate all your feedback and support for the Ride On channel. I hope you're already a Ride On subscriber, but if not, please subscribe straight away. And last but not least, ride often, ride carefully, ride on.